Hello fellow riders, Trace here with Mountain Bike Action Magazine. Today we're doing a first ride series on the Cannondale Scalpel SE1. This has 20 more millimeters of front travel and rear travel than the traditional Scalpel. The SE is designed to blur the lines between cross country and trail riding. Before we hop on the bike, let's go over some of the tech talk. The Scalpel SE you see before you is the mid-tier level priced right at $5,800. It comes with carbon wheels, carbon bars, RockShock SID Select Plus fork and shock. For the drivetrain, we have Shimano XT 12 speed, and Shimano is again utilized for the brakes with their XT hydraulic system. The key to the scalpel suspension design lies in the flex pivot technology. These patented carbon plates create a virtual horse link pivot. Cannondale claims that they're stiffer and lighter than bearings and incredibly durable, while remaining flexible and completely maintenance free. Along with the handy stash kit, Cannondale also put an integrated wheel sensor in order to deliver speed, your distance info, and you can register your bike to tell you when more service is needed. Utilizing the handy little charts for our suspension setup to our rider's weight, we got the air set up, got our rebound adjusted, and we're ready to hit the trails. All right, getting after the first climb here. Getting the bike feeling good so far. Keeping the suspension open over the rocky stuff. A little bit of pick up a speed here. Oh yeah, beautiful day for a pedal, that's for sure. All right, I get out of the saddle here. Climbing to the top. Alrighty, we just had a few laps here on the Cannondale Scalpel SE. Gotta say, it's a pretty fun little rocket ship. Uh, cornering felt really good on it. You know, in comparison to the Cannondale Scalpel, the cross country version with 100 mils of travel, this one's about a degree slacker. So it's a 67 degree head tube angle. Uh, bike felt just a little more planted. Um, of course, the added travel makes it a little more plush. It's got bigger tires too than the cross country version. Helps it keep a little more planted, but uh, even after the first ride uh, in our dry, hard pack SoCal conditions, I think we're gonna go with 2.4s on the front and rear, add a little more girth to it, have something that can bite into the train a little more. Um, yeah, real springy bike, short chain stays in the rear, made it real easy to place a rear wheel. Of course, along with the carbon wheels and the weight, allowed us to flick it where we want to. I would say that, you know, the 34 tooth chain ring is maybe not, uh, 
usually seen on a trail bike. We usually see like a 30 or a 32, just so people have that climbing gear and a little more spin to win. But given that this bike's so light and that it just wants to keep moving, uh, I'm actually okay with the 34. It was plenty comfortable, uh, even in the steeper sections. So we're gonna have some more time on this bike. We're gonna get bigger tires on it. <laughs> we're gonna have some more trail time and put it through some more aggressive stuff. So make sure to check out our magazine. We're gonna have a full review on it going down. Our wrecking crew is gonna be put into the test. Until next time, I'll see you out on the trails. Follow us at mbaction.com or on any of your favorite social media outlets. Don't wanna miss out on any of the action, do ya? Well, check out these videos and make sure to hit subscribe.